you know what's one thing that is very very common these days you work so hard in your school you get into college you pass your one year and after some time you start to see your seniors getting placed someone is maybe getting a job of a software engineer someone is maybe getting a job of an application engineer data engineer instrumental engineer and you're just wondering that you don't even know what these job descriptions are right how do you even go about preparing for these jobs when you don't even know the difference between all of these fields which is very very common because they don't teach you in school neither it is present in the college curriculum as well as far as i have seen so this video is going to come to your rescue and help you understand the difference between all of these three fields we're going to be talking about the difference between a data engineer how is it different to a software engineer and how is it different to application engineer so let's quickly get started hi everyone my name is riya i work as a software engineer at microsoft and today i'm going to be helping you understand the difference between some of the popular software engineering fields okay so i always like to learn concepts by taking real life examples understanding the real use case so that when i actually try to implement something it gives me a real life idea on what's really happening behind the scenes so i'm not going to throw random jargon at you to help you understand the difference between these three job descriptions in a very bookish manner we'll actually take a good real life example and understand things in detail right so when you actually start applying to these job descriptions it gives you a more realistic idea on what's the job expectation and what you're exactly going to work on okay so what we will do is we'll take a real life example of any ride sharing platform now it could be uber it could be ola right any platform you can consider and imagine that you have to build that system completely from scratch okay uh, you've not done anything so far you have just received a product requirements document right sort of like a prd from the product managers on what exactly is the expectation you sort of have a design also on what is the website or what the mobile version or the uh, you know desktop version of that particular application going to look like right now is the time when all the different types of engineers really step in and they have completely different responsibilities on what different parts they are going to work on okay so first we will talk about software engineers so software engineers are mostly responsible for designing and building the entire user facing application now that could mean the website version that could mean the mobile version so if it's a website version usually front end and back end engineers take care of it who are like software engineers only and then there are android developers also who take care of the mobile version of the website so now in terms of responsibility software engineers are actually going to be the one they will that will write the entire code which will help you to you know request rides see your past trips right see the status of your current trip as well in terms of a specific job descriptions and let's say if i have to give you a really good example whenever you open the application whatever you see how the application looks like apart from that how do you request for a particular ride right the way you enter your data into the application and the way it's being processed and how you are assigned a driver the entire movement on the entire application that you see is being taken care by the software engineers apart from that software engineers not just make sure of designing the application they also make sure that the algorithm of how the nearest driver is assigned to you how the entire payment processing system is being taken care of all of it is being taken care of by a software engineer and they make sure that the application runs end to end right from the point where you request for a particular ride to the part where your flow ends when you have completed the ride now we will talk about data engineers now data engineers in this entire ecosystem of a ride sharing platform they are mostly going to design and develop the data infrastructure part okay so they don't really care about how the application looks like what is the design how the entire flow is working as a data engineer as the name suggests they just want to make sure that the data part or the entire infrastructure of data including the databases the etl pipelines how the data is being flow how the data is being processed how are you in an optimized manner storing the users data the drivers data right how are you basically showing what particular part of drivers data to the user when they request a ride 
all that is being taken care of by a data engineer so in terms of i would say roles and responsibilities they basically make sure that they manage and basically optimize the data infrastructure that supports the right sharing platform they also handle the data storage data processing and the analytics that goes ahead with the data in terms of task which specifically a data engineer works on we can say that data engineers basically build and maintain the data pipelines as well that actually collects your data it stores your data and information about the rights the drivers and the customers okay so let me give you an example every time you actually book a ride right or uh, any customer who actually goes ahead and book a ride data engineers actually ensure that the information about your trip including your pickup and your drop locations are securely stored in a database including your fare details and your, the driver details as well they are all securely stored in the database in along with that what they also do is they also define the architecture which makes sure that there is efficient retrieval of data also possible and in case of analysis also that needs to be done for the data for example by data analyst or if that data is for example further required to predict your future trips which is sort of be required by machine learning engineers right all sort of that data is required or available for efficient retrieval to all the external stakeholders this kind of data could actually be used for your billing it could also be used to uh, calculate the driver ratings and also predict your future rights third now let's talk about how does in this entire infrastructure application engineer steps in so as an application engineer you will basically work on the integration and the optimization of the ride sharing platform within the entire larger transportation ecosystem so you know that in the entire transportation ecosystem not just ride sharing platforms are also there right there are a bunch of other competitors and other stakeholders available as well so how does in that ecosystem the ride sharing platform steps in and how does it work in an optimized manner is what an application engineer will take care of they also make sure that the platform actually runs efficiently and integrates with the external systems in a very smooth manner so in terms of tasks know that application engineers basically work on the back end system right uh, they will work on the back end systems they will work on the apis they will work on the system performances and then they collaborate with data engineers as well as software engineers to ensure that the entire system operates very smooth so now let's understand this also through an example let's say you book a ride to the airport right so the moment you request a ride to the airport the request actually comes to your application application and then we have to make sure that that request basically is being connected with your data now that data could be the information about the drivers and then there could be multiple external systems also which could be at play for example we want to do some route optimizations right you have to go to the airport the driver has been allocated to you if there is some traffic along the route we want to make sure that there is route optimization also done when the driver is allocated to you so whenever you actually request a ride right not all the uh, things that are happening is not within our ecosystem there are multiple external stakeholders also at the play for example you usually rely on google maps as well you have information about your drivers which is placed somewhere else maintained by data engineers for efficient retrieval right and you sort of must be applying some root optimization algorithms as well so a lot of external systems comes into play so an application engineer makes sure that this entire integration of all the external systems as well as the user experience becomes very smooth and they also make sure that uh, they are able to optimize the process of users also or customers also whenever there is peak hours okay so this is how exactly i would say the work is dif differentiated between software engineers data engineers and application engineers having said that also know that sometimes there are there is a lot of overlap of work also happening for example in my team at microsoft although i am coming at a position of software engineer only but there are situations where we have to sort of deal with data also right and we have to sort of work to make sure that the data is stored in an optimized manner we have a lot of data warehousing happening right we have again etl pipelines also which are harnessing and you know i would say massaging the data so that it becomes very clean and efficient to use 
right so there is sort of an overlap sometimes that comes depending on what organization you have worked on but remember that when you are applying for a particular company there is a difference in what these job descriptions are and do not assume all of them to be completely different okay uh, even with tech stack also it becomes a little bit different as a data engineer you are usually working with hadoop you are working with you know mostly big data technologies you are working with spark right you are working with a lot of legacy databases also right and then you have to sort of work with a lot of new database systems also so you your focus is sort of over there but when you work with a as a software engineer your focus could be on a entirely different tech stack right you might be working on a back end application which could be written in java or um, you know uh, spring boot or it could be um, node as well when you're working as a front end engineer as in under the role of software engineer you could be working with react or you could be working with different technologies same is the case for application engineer as well so there is sort of an overlap but there is a considerable difference in their work responsibilities as well so whenever you are applying for these opportunities make sure you've given a good thought you've gone through the job description very thoroughly so that it helps you to prepare for interviews as well and yeah that's it for today's video it was a very short video i just wanted to quickly walk you through the entire process and the differences between all the three positions i myself sort of was also a little bit confused when i was in my first year and i wanted to make sure that when you understand this you have good examples to clarify your doubts as well thank you so much for watching this far and if you have come this far as well please make sure to subscribe to the channel as well i'll come with more informative videos like this in the future as well bye